So tomorrow is my son's second birthday. Um, so we're going to go. I'm actually working too, so. Say hey, Malin. Say hi. Say hi. It's my daughter. Um, my son, he'll be two tomorrow, so we're going to go do a man day today. Not really a man day. We're just about to go. I'm about to go get a lineup because as you can see, I need it. And then tonight, I got to go get my locks retwisted for his birthday tomorrow. And we're going to get Emmy his first haircut today. Look at that. And try to drop uh, Malin off over my, uh, my mother-in-law's. My mother-in-law's. My mom's. Um, because, yeah, I just need to. It's a lot taking two kids to buy the shop. I'd rather just drop her off. So I'm just waiting on her to see if she can keep her. But, yeah, um, as far as Emmy goes. Excuse my kitchen. Looks crazy in here. But as far as he's concerned. He looks like Edward Scissorhands. I got a doctor friend of mine. Might be able to help. So we're going to go get this cut off. I'm going to get him a nice new look. After I get his hair washed, I got to wash his hair. Actually, I'm about to wash it now. And... Yeah. So that's what we're about to do today. Come here. Give me a minute. So... That means no, stay there, stay like that, keep your head like that. Trying to do this now because his appoint our hair appointment or uh, barber appointment ain't until um, two o'clock. It's nine thirty now, so just gonna wash his hair now. So make sure ain't no corn or fruit snacks or food in his hair. Don't want to be responsible for. Bringing a garbage pail kid in here. It's the film that the New York Times called, quote, too repulsive for children or adults of any age. In his barber shop. All right, come on, let's get this out. Relax, dude. Okay. I know. It's almost done. We're not, just, we're not gonna condition it. We're just gonna wash it. Mm -hmm. Got you. Come on. Okay. What's that? I'm about to keep their cups today upstairs. Normally I try to take their cups from them I mean, because they like leaving it and losing them. And I don't, I'm not the one to look for them. Go, Emmy. But yeah, so just wash this hair real quick. And going to feed them in about two hours, give them, I already fed them breakfast, but because my wife 
She made their breakfast. So I'll get them lunch at 11, and lunch actually. So 11.30, I'm gonna take them to get our, to feed them, put them down for their nap, wake them up at about one, get him dressed. And hopefully I've heard back from my mother-in-law to get Mylon so we can go get our hair heads done. Uh. Yeah, so my mom wasn't able to uh, keep them because she's working till nine. So I put the babies to bed. So I'm about to get dressed. And then put, clean them up, wake them up from their nap. And then we're going to head out. This is what I picked out for them to wear today. He's gonna wear his red his Air Max and then oops, let me get our pants out. Yeah. Totally beautiful. Yeah, then of course the marathon continues. So I got the beige one together. Guess that hair is protective style or something. I don't know what women call it. And I'm about to go get the boy ready so we can get up out of here. I'm so tired. Like, I'm tired. I don't even know how some days I even make it through the day. Yeah. But, uh, I'm about to. Get the boy ready. That's what his hair looking like right now. Stop biting, boy. Looking crazy. Come on, Edward. <laughs> so we ready Emmy Emmy look Emmy Ooh, boy, boy. come on Mallory hmm It's a little warm out, so hey, 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 come over here. Step on that poop. Come on. So it's a little warm out, so I didn't put jackets on them because it's like 70 degrees out. So we on our way to the uh, barbershop. So my plan today was to go get my uh, me and my sons. Um, at lineups, him getting a haircut. And I was gonna drop my daughter uh, Malin off over my mom's, but she said she works till nine, so not gonna be able to do that. So she's coming with us now. And then my lock, uh, person who does my locks, um, she moved, she asked if I could move my appointment from 5.45 to at 3.30. So we're going to try to go get, it's 1.30 now. We're going to try to go and get this line up, this stuff done now. Hopefully my, our, my barber's ready. I see, baby. My my uh, barber's ready now. So then I can make my way over to the shop for my hair. So. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
Pass East Lamar. About to go in Lids and get him a hat. Hand me this way. This yeah. is first fitted? Yeah, it's first one. Well, did I get one? Nah, yeah, this is first one, yeah. Emmy, get up. Stopped in lids, about to get him a, a, his hat. Guy who work here about to put stitch his hat up for him. No, and any, no. Look at that, look at that. Uh huh. Look at that. the mall passing time till it's time for my hair appointment but stopping a couple of these stores see what's going on probably gonna look in this shoe store sneaker store <laughs> look at what mannequin Put it on. Good job. Finished. Just got my uh, locks retwisted. Stopped by Fisher's Chicken to pick up some food to use for my family. Um, yeah, I'm on my way home to the on my way to the crib. Um, it's funny. I I was in um, the mall with both my with the babies, and I, I had multiple people, black people, saying that's what I'm talking about when they see me. Um, with my kids, like it's weird. Like that's just like a weird thing to congratulate somebody for. But um, I guess you know, there's a stigma on black fathers that it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take all of us to who have kids to break. And I felt weird by them for them just get, acknowledging me for taking care of my kids or having my kids or spending time with them. I just felt weird. So, yeah. That was different. Not different because it's not the first time it's happened. It happens all the time, actually, when I have uh, my kids with me. So, But, um, yeah, that's my goal. Not a goal, but that's, that's what I kind of strive for daily to try to just be a better, more present um, father to to my kids, a, a more present and a better husband for my wife. I just, that's, that's, that's my, uh, my motivation daily is to be an amazing father and be an amazing husband. Amazing husband first and amazing father. I just, that's just what my motivation is to, to be more present and in moments that I can better than I have in the past. Cause at the end of the day, that's, that's kind of like, just all, that's all we have is family. And that's, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I get why um, black fathers are, you know, 
I guess, uh, you know, I don't get it because it's not like I'm a unicorn. I got all my friends who have kids take care of their kids and they're always with their kids and they're present with their kids and with their family. So I see it all the time. So, but maybe it's a generational thing where it's normally older people who, who normally look at me and tell me like, I see you in good, good shit or good, good, good job or uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just also another way of just, you know, encouraging. So I don't know. It's just weird because I don't want a cookie for taking care of my responsibilities. But I guess that's just where we are in um, society, I guess. And I, I hope that that's changed by the time, like, my babies get older and um, they have their families. And it's just like a normal thing to see a black father or my son being a good black dad because of what I did. Like, that's that's the most rewarding thing that I can actually um, hope for is that my example as a uh, father, as a husband, um, leaks into my kids. And I set a new blueprint for what it's, what it's supposed to be. What family is supposed to be, what a dad is supposed to be, what a husband is supposed to be. Um, yeah, so it was just, yeah, it wasn't weird. It was just something that I observed out today with them at the mall. But yeah, on my way home, feed the fam and just relax and chill. Emmy's birthday is tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate his second birthday, celebrate him. Good job. Good job. I'll just have to find